All right, all right. What's going on, YouTube and cryptocurrency family? My name is Posty, and I'm subbing in for the Crypto Vet. And today we got lots of big things happening, and we will uh, be potentially making history this week when it comes to cryptocurrency. And uh, he told me to say, make sure you like, subscribe, and you know, hit that shit down below. He got the descriptions down there. And let's go ahead and get started on Coin Market Cap. All right, it looks like we have Bitcoin popping right now, 13,700. Ethereum still still right around $385 and we have XRP right below 24 cents. What up, Chunkers? I see you in there. All right, Chainlink is down just a bit, about a dollar. But let's go ahead and see what's happening. So the big thing happening now is this is a monthly candle right here. This is the monthly chart for Bitcoin. This is going all the way back to when Bitcoin first started back in 2011. Today is Bitcoin's 12th year birthday since the white paper came out. It came out on Halloween 12 years ago. And if we can see here, if I put my cursor right on this line here, that's where the two other highest candles have ever been. So if Bitcoin was to close just a tad bit higher, it'd be the most bullish thing to ever happen in Bitcoin's history. And we will find that out in five hours and I will be streaming when this happens. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the short term. Okay, so now we busted down to the four hour candle chart here. And I've been forming symmetrical triangles as we make this uh, ascending trend currently going on here. So every time we've come out, we've had like a little fake out, then we broke out, had a little fake out. We started a new bigger triangle here, this being the resistance line, these being support lines. And you can see about 12 hours ago, we broke out and we set, uh, we did something crazy. We set a higher high. So zooming out, and I know this looks like a cluster fuck, but we're gonna fix that for y'all, just so we can see it a little bit better. The last time Bitcoin was this high was way back here, and then even further back here. So what we're gonna do is if we're looking here on the four hour chart, this is, this is wonderful. I had a price target from this symmetrical triangle breakout to about 14,300 or about 14,400, and we got almost to it to about 14,128. But we're coming down and it looks like we may actually test this previous resistance as now support. And we have this uh, tan line as we're coming up. This is from the ascending channel that we made a long, long time ago. So this ascending channel comes all the way back, all the way, all the way back. And if we made another one, we could put it right here and see that we have broken out of it from there. Let me get that off so we don't get lost. So, you know, where do we go from here? Um, it's it's looking like it's up because we have very, very little traded volume here. We have lots of volume traded below and lots and lots of support here. So if Bitcoin can hold strong right around this 0.136 where it's at now, I mean, we could see $20,000 Bitcoin right before the election. Now, breakouts on the weekend typically don't break out as severe to the upside. Um, they usually will drop more to the downside. Uh, breakouts in my experience have been more on the Mondays uh, during the week or on the Fridays right before the weekend. So we'll kind of have to see how this goes. Lots of crazy things going on in the US with elections. Um, the UK, I think Boris Johnson's talking about potentially locking down for a month in the UK. And I, there's people fleeing to France where France has even higher COVID cases. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So we're gonna be covering this and I'll be watching it all evening and any updates that we see, um, I will be posting immediately. Um, as far as Ethereum goes, we have been trying to get back above and hold support over the 20, the 20 daily exponential moving average. Currently, if I was to offset it slightly and just to get us an extended line, let's see if I can get some more offset. Oh, I'm on the weekly, cancel. Let's go to the daily. Let's see if we can make it just a tad bit longer. We can see that we, if we offset and predict the numbers that are coming as of what's been occurring over the past couple hours, we are actually a little bit below where the moving average would be. So we're gonna have to wait and see um, if we can get above this. If so, when we get above it, we typically have a nice little bounce up and that $400 resistance right above us is still pretty tough and a little bit ways away. As far as XRP goes, uh, if you follow me on the Discord uh, where I post uh, live charts that I'm doing as well as on my Twitter, XRP Veterinarian, you can see uh, I predicted that we would have a breakout from this ascending triangle up to about 2440. We missed it by four thousandths of a penny, but um, we're coming back down now, which again, corrections have to happen. And if we find support here again, we could either break to the upside 
to test the moving average here or we may have another break to the downside. Uh, the nice thing is, is we had this nice long wick with a hammer uh, or a thin, thin wick with a nice thick candle body there that's just at the top showing that there's a lot of buying pressure here. So once it got to this thing, people were trying to buy it back up. So we'll just have to see where it goes from there. The bad part is, is we did have a cross here on the hourly MACD, but our RSI is in a nice, nice place. Um, just to show you how it looks on a different scale, um, we did get rejected here on the weekly moving average, but again, finding support right around 24, 2390-ish. So um, XRP likes to do little pumps randomly, and we had a cross on the MACD here on a bigger time frame. So I'm using this time frame and trend lines to actually predict um, the macro trend in the short term versus you know just the hourly and to make it even further we can go to the daily zoom out a little bit more um, we see that we almost formed a really nice hammer curl here and moving this moving average out we got rejected but we're right in a very indecision point here on uh, XRP. So um, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, if you like this stuff and you like the costume, please tell me what you think down in the comments. Um, Melody worked really, really hard on putting all my tattoos on. I even have a grill. You ready? Yeah? Yeah? But the grill looks kind of stupid and I can't talk in it. Uh, but, oh yeah, I also got the painted fingernails, got bling. So there we go. Um, let me know what you think about this, but I will be streaming live, so I'm going to edit this video real quick. Oh, I got to stretch. Ooh. So um, be sure to check that out, and um, I will continue streaming live on Twitch while I edit this video and answer any questions you guys have, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one.